We all know about the case of James Rosen, uh, where the Justice Department was tapping his phone and named him as, uh, as uh, I, I forget, a, a co-conspirator, whatever the heck it was, in a criminal investigation. Uh, I don't know if that case is still open and pending, but uh, we have uh, our next guest, who was a, uh, twice nominated for the Pulitzer Prize while working at the Washington Times for investigative journalism. Uh, she did that for about 15 years. She's now writing freelance for Newsmax and for uh, the uh, Colorado Observer and others. Uh, journalist Audrey Hudson joins us. Uh, Audrey, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. Okay, uh, I think your story is one that is very important and needs to be told. And, uh, you know, this with this administration, it's another day, another scandal. But um, your home uh, was raided. Um, in the middle of the night in August, um, and the subpoena, I think, uh, was for guns or weapons or a potato launcher that your husband might have purchased several years back, and he had had uh, some uh, trouble with the law, uh, resisting arrest, and he technically wasn't allowed to have any weapon, and they used that as a pretense to take uh, valuable personal confidential files from you. So why don't you explain it all to us? Well, what happened was it was 4.30 in the morning, and they had a search warrant, is what they had. The search warrant was for a potato launcher. That was that was the that was the uh, the uh, trivial excuse to get into the house. And that's an what extension they, on a gun kind of thing. It's it's a launcher. It's yeah. It's it's a uh, it's a novelty item. Okay. Just like a like a golf ball launcher. Right. Right. So um, my husband he did buy a, a potato launcher about five years ago on a website, and it didn't work, and he no longer has it. But they used that as a pretext to get into the house, and then what they took without telling me were five files of mine on air marshal stories that I had written for the Washington Times that were very embarrassing to the government. And they, I didn't know that the files were gone from my office until they called me over a month later and said, oh, you can come pick them up now. All right, but you got an indication that something uh, smelled rotten uh, when one of the uh, the um, uh, searchers or, or people who came into your home asked you a question. Uh, if if you were the same Audrey uh, Hudson who had written a, a series of articles critical of air marshals in the past for the Washington Times, correct? That's correct. That was the first thing that the Homeland guy said to me. Asked me if I was the the same Audrey Hudson, and then he started at, he started dropping names and saying, oh, well, do you know so-and-so or so-and-so, and I, I didn't. And he started asking me about other scandals that um, had plagued the agency, and, and then he disappeared. We weren't allowed to leave the kitchen, so I was not in my office when they pulled every single one of my boxes out of my closet and went through every file I had. But they only took... Five certain files. files exactly they only took five files and they were they all were labeled air marshals so so i mean based on what this uh this uh, person uh, from uh, homeland said to you and based on what they took uh what conclusion does that lead you to that they were still trying to find out who my sources were and you uh you uh did not and hoping yeah. to bust me in the meantime because the the coast guard has admitted in a statement uh, since I went public, they admitted that, that, yes, they did take the documents, that they turned it over to the TSA, which is basically the same homeland agency that runs the air marshals, because there was a concern that it was a classified document. Well, they weren't stamped classified. They weren't classified at all. They were for official use only, as any government document is. And the only government document I had was an inspector's general report that still had attached to it the Freedom of Information Act release, which I had requested it under. But, and yeah. so for him to say that I just took it to make sure it was legitimate for you to have this document, that, that argument just doesn't hold water. Right. All right. We're, we're talking to Audrey Hudson, investigative journalist, a two-time nominee for the Pulitzer Prize uh, here on the Steve Malzberg Show. And uh, uh, this is incredible stuff. And, and so even if – I'm not a lawyer, and I don't know if you know the answer to this, but even if they felt in their search for this potato launcher – um, that uh, they found a document of yours that, uh, and they, they, for some reason, they thought it was classified. Would they have a right to take it, or would they have to go yeah. get another subpoena? Absolutely not. Uh, those files are protected under the Privacy Protection Act. It says that the government can only look at a reporter's notes or their work product under specific circumstances. And as you recall, after the incident with James Rosen, 
the the procedure now is that you can't touch us unless the deputy attorney general signs off on it. Uh, and as far as you know, yes, no, did the deputy? No, attorney, they they yeah. had no. They did not come in with a subpoena. They had no subpoena right. for records. They had a search warrant to find the potato, the potato launcher. launcher, which of course is insane. Uh, since it happened five years prior, and since the uh, the one of the the, the uh, persons involved in the raid asked you if you were the same Audrey Hudson who wrote those stories, and they take your files uh, on the sources of those stories. So, I mean, you I, you I know you were horrified, and I know that you feel that uh, you've been let down by uh, by your government. Correct? It's you know it is gut wrenching. I mean, it it really is. I, I, I'm I'm afraid of our government. I'm I'm, I'm ashamed. Of our government, I, I I'm disappointed in, in their behavior in this. Well, what could you do? I mean, I, I last time you and I chatted, you were you know you were feeling out, or or maybe we're going to contact or be contacted by uh, legal representation. I know they also, by the way, by the way, they also took uh, Audrey's guns, your guns, not your husband, but your guns, correct? Yes. Yeah. That's that's another that's that's another issue, and and I do have a lawyer for that to try to get my guns back. And and I'll wage that battle over there, uh, as far as 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 stealing my documents. The Washington Times has a front page story today that they are pursuing legal action. Okay, so and, on behalf yeah. of you, yeah. Okay, because yes, you, you, and they've been they've been in contact with me, and um, I'm hoping to get some attention on Capitol Hill because number one, I'd like to get some protections for the whistleblowers. Right, the people and named like, in your in your files, correct? Well, just because your name is in my file doesn't, doesn't mean, mean you're yeah, a whistleblower. Right, right, right. All right, and so, but you, I think you you had stated that you did not call uh, the people that uh, uh, that uh, you were your whistleblowers or were your contacts because you feared that uh, your phones might be tapped as well, right? Well, after what happened to James Rosen and AP, you know that that, that clearly they they put a tap and trace on their phones to find out who their sources were. And I had, I had no way was I going to call them. I didn't trust email, and the search warrant even stated that they had accessed my Facebook page. All right. Uh, so, Audrey, what? Okay. So, so I'm glad the Washington Times is representing you in this. We'll cut, we'll certainly follow this case. But what about your career? I mean, you're still a freelance, uh, you know, investigative journalist. Uh, how are you going to make calls? Are you are you afraid that you're tapped? Are you afraid to reach out to sources? Will sources now be uh, afraid to talk to you? You know, I'm I'm a very creative person. <laughs> um, I'll I'll figure. Hopefully, I can I can figure out something. I mean, obviously, is it going to impact my work? Of course, it is. It impacted James Rosen. It it had a horrible impact on AP. Of course, it is. That's you know, I know I know that's coming. This isn't going to be a surprise to me. You know, but each time each time they come after a reporter. We just have to find creative ways to, to hopefully get around it, and hopefully it won't have an impact on my career because uh, I love my job and I love what I do. And, I, you know, I, sources put a lot of faith in me to, to you know, protect their identities, and, um, and that, that, that's my number one priority. And, if, and I'm also concerned that people who weren't sources just because their name might be in a file would be identified. Right, as, right. You know, that's even more concerning because it's like <laughs> – you know, yeah, guilt uh, by uh, guilt by association. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, I mean, you the they, nail right on the head. And they like to the left likes to portray, you know, uh, Ted Cruz. He looks like McCarthy. He he's McCarthy. He's a, he's the most hated man in America. But what this administration is doing, and that kind of guilt by association, uh, is 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 chilling. Just chilling. It is chilling. And you know, I, I I'm I'm very confident that if they do start a witch hunt of these guys, these guys will find a way to let they might not come to me but maybe they'll go to another reporter i may lose the story but you know i'm i'm a realist it's it's gonna it's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen yeah well listen uh, I've good, good gotta prepare for it good luck with this and and so you you, you get a, the, a separate lawyer is going to try to get your guns back which they had no right to take away because you had a right to guns you didn't have any well, violations that's, that's uh, what that's what yeah. we're disputing yeah we're not we're, we're there's no charges have been filed well, I hope you get before Congress. Uh, how how will you go about trying to do that? I mean, how what what's the likelihood of that? 
Well, I've already been contacted by uh, some members who want to talk about good, it. Good, so, good, good. So I'm going to talk about it with them. Good, very I think good. That was a, it was a good idea, and I saw their interest, and, and uh, I'm absolutely going to do everything I can to help them. Absolutely. Especially on whistleblower protections. Yep. Audrey, keep us, uh, keep us informed. If there's no stories written about it, then uh, give us a buzz and let us know, because we'll definitely keep, uh, keep the public informed, okay? <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so All right. much. Thank you. Take care. Audrey Hudson, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Newsmax contributor, uh, worked for the Washington Times for 15 years under the pretense, according to her story, under the pretense of, uh, of, uh, of the fact that her husband was in a trouble with the law 25 years ago resisting arrest. They found that five years ago he ordered a potato launcher online. And so they raided her house at four in the morning looking for the potato launcher. And that's what the subpoena was for. Armed guard, you know, they came in a body armor and the whole thing, which I have no problem with, although I don't know why they waited five years. But then they asked her, are you the Audrey Hudson who wrote those stories critical of the federal air marshals all those years ago, 10 years ago after 9-11? She said yes. They then went down in her office, took, looked at mil- tons of files, and took five files relating to those writings, those stories. And those files had names of sources. They had no subpoena, according to her, to take those files or to even look at her files. They took them. And she didn't even know they were gone until she got a call saying you could pick them up. What country is this if her story is as told? What country are we living in? What's going on? How come this isn't a big story today? How come I'm still talking about seeing on CNN women now allowed to ride a car, drive a car in Saudi Arabia? Who cares? This is James Rosen and the AP all over again. If her story is true, and I have no reason to doubt it's true. So, um, I, I don't know. Uh, interesting, interesting stories here. Um, let's see. White House now admits that some people will lose their uh, current health plans. <laughs> really? What made you admit that? Um, let's see. Uh, Florida woman's rate jumps from $54 to 